talking about the best knockouts of Mike Tyson means, including almost all of his victories. His impressive record of 50 wins out of 58 fights includes 44 knockouts. He was a true beast within the confines of the ring, a beast whose ferocity also extended outside of it. But that's a different story. The youngest undisputed heavyweight champion in history enjoyed a remarkable performance in the honorable boxing ring. His fierce style, electrifying speed, and devastating power helped him become one of the most feared and exciting boxers of all time. He was a lethal machine. Approaching 60 years old, Tyson has surprised us with the news that he is working hard to revive those glory years and step into the ring a few more times, giving his body and soul to the fight. And his name still generates panic. Therefore, there is no better moment than a possible comeback to review the best knockouts of Mike Tyson. Welcome. Today's video invitation is to relive two of the greatest, but most lethal and brutal moments in the professional career of Iron Mike. The nights when he crowned himself as the Lord of all beasts. Moments that live freely in the minds of boxing lovers, regardless of their personal opinion about Tyson. Let's look at some of those victories that turned him into a living legend. Mike Tyson vs. Trevor Burbick It was 1986, and a young Mike Tyson, just 20 years old, was fighting to make a name for himself among the greatest of that time. Trevor Burbick had just won his WBC heavyweight title and had to defend it. As a challenger, Tyson stepped into the ring at the Hilton Hotel in Las Vegas on November 22nd to electrify everyone present with an unprecedented victory. From the start, Tyson's offensive brutality was evident. Uh, he's showing a little false bravado here. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe is not the way. If he doesn't puff that jab in the face, way. You get the idea now that Burbick, uh, Tyson will come right through him. Tyson with the left, bounces it up. Despite his short professional experience, he set the pace of the fight with no intention of negotiating it. In the second round, Tyson started causing damage, knocking Burbick to the canvas with a series of punches that ended with a left hook. This is round two. Championship of the world. Trevor Burbick and Mike Tyson. Tyson goes to work right away, and he gets pressed. Burbick fell on his back but quickly got up, indicating to referee Mills Lane that he could continue. However, he showed he was not well by trying to hold Tyson in clinches and slow him down. He even hit his powerful challenger during a break, earning a warning from Lane. Already dreaming is Trevor Burbank. It'll make Tyson be too long before he wears that belt. Wild on the break and news. At the end of the round, the fight ended when Tyson's left hook landed on Burbick's temple. Experiencing a delayed reaction, the then champion fell on his shorts. Then he goes to the body downstairs, catches him with the right hand, upstairs, champions of all time. Bangs the body, wow, with that uppercut got his Tyson, catches him with the right left hook, and he went. Trying to recover, Burbick stumbled towards the ropes near his corner and fell. His arms flailed as he tried to straighten up and stumbled back to where he initially fell, in the center of the ring, to fall again. He tried to stand up once more and stumbled towards a neutral corner. By then, Lane's count had reached nine and Burbick was still down. He had nothing left to do there. This grim victory made Iron Mike the youngest heavyweight champion in history, breaking the record held by Floyd Patterson, who won the same title at 21 years and 11 months old by knocking out Archie Moore in November 1956. Mike Tyson versus Michael Spinks. Moving forward in time, we arrive at 1988. On June 27, Tyson had to defend his IBF heavyweight title for the fourth time, his WBA heavyweight title for the sixth time, and his WBC heavyweight title for the seventh time. But his opponent was not just a simple challenger. The fight was announced as once and for all, capturing the attention of all boxing fans. From the start, Spinks seemed more interested in wrapping Tyson in his arms than escaping damage with a practical retreat. In their first clinch, Referee Frank Cappuccino approached upon noticing the laces of one of Tyson's gloves pressed heavily against Spink's throat. Moments later, 
as Sphinx tried to back away, Tyson threw his head back with a powerful left hook. Now he's throwing his jab, but he has to keep those hands extreme. Sphinx was still reacting to that first blow when a twisted short right hook caught him just below the heart. There, he fell to one knee. Doing damage. Michael Spence has to keep moving because every shot... Oh, Uppercut landed. It was his first knockdown as a professional boxer. The deadly blow had traveled in an arc at waist height and caught Spinks at its most powerful point, right against his jaw. So it is no surprise that Spinks' eyes turned white as his legs trembled. Showing his fighting spirit, Spinks tried to get up, but crashed on his right side. The giant had been annihilated. Time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again, and in serious. With such a spectacle, anyone would think twice before making a derogatory comment about Mike, who, even as a young man, demonstrated that if monsters exist in the ring, he was the true hunter. If you have made it this far, thank you. Did you enjoy the story? Remember, the best way to support my content is by leaving a like on the video. What other indisputable Tyson knockout victory do you think should be honored in a second part of this video? Let me know in the comments.